Welcome back to the channel guys so on today's video on today's video the Corolla front two speakers are getting replaced and we'll be using the JBL 609 series so it's a set of two speakers um, I don't know what this one is for I don't know what's the name and then a, a, a tutor so we will uh, start by unboxing the, the the speakers and then see what's inside and then we can get on with installing them. So we have the two speakers, these two components for connecting the speakers to the tweeters. And uh, we have the tweeters, two tweeters. I thought it's one, but it's actually two. So we might have to do the tweeters on a later date uh, because I also need to add some more tweeters. It's going to be a total of uh, eight tweeters around the car. So um, and I need some longer wires which I haven't received. So uh, that's going to be then the next video. So stay tuned and watch out for that video. So we'll start with the speakers. So first thing would be to connect the speakers to some brackets that they come with. This 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 bracket here. Um, there's a quite a number of screws. Some are here. Okay, we have this. Yeah, this is for just around the bracket and the speaker. And then we have the screws over here. Some are here. Are they? Yeah, we have the screws somewhere here. And then, so we'll just connect the speaker to the bracket. And then, once that's connected, then we can um, take out the the old uh, stock speakers from the car. So, let's do this. So I did forget I had to get some extra terminals just to make my own harness. So I had to get some of these connectors uh, for the crossover to the stock speaker and again from this crossover to the speaker and the tweeters, tweeters later. So I had to make it work. I just have to use the speaker wire, do some play around with the connections um so we have the brackets so you can either use this or this i think i'm gonna go for this so i'm gonna connect this to the door and then the speaker I'm gonna screw it on the bracket inside the, uh, the door so i'm gonna first start with the, with the connections so uh, once i have the old speaker out uh, i can just put this inside straight in so let me figure out how i'm gonna get this connected and then we can move on to the next step. I have, I have everything hooked up. I have the uh, crossover. I think I found out it's called a crossover. The crossover connected to the speaker and uh, 
I have these that will go straight to the uh, the harness for the um, for the stock speaker same as this one and then we'll, as I said we'll do the tweeters later so that's what I'm gonna do next we'll just take out the just uh, open the um, or rather take out the this planner the other side and then see how the connection will take us so stay tuned so for you to take this door panel out you have to open up this part with a screw over here and then we'll take uh, this door panel out and then we have to take this one out there's a second screw over here and then we can be able to pull it out from from the bottom So here's the stock speaker for us to take it out we might have to force it force this um we have to rivet this for oh there are three of them we have to rivet the three of them out and um put out put in the new one and then run the wires bury the crossover somewhere here or maybe here just so it's closer to the speaker and the tweeters that will be here and then the rest will be inside here and all the way in the back so let me start by forcing this thing out and then replacing the other one So we have it disconnected so i'm going to show you the difference between this stock speaker and what we're installing see the difference between the size of the magnets the weight is a very huge difference this is a pretty light speaker and the sound wasn't bad so you can imagine or rather you can think of how the sound would be with this one um, i think there's a 10 year difference between them you know dates speakers were manufactured so of course many things change between that time so let's uh, install this one up uh, it's gonna be tricky to actually connect this to the harness that I just took this one out of but we'll just make it work so follow me
so now we'll figure out a way on how we can have the speaker connected to that bracket um, I was able to just screw in two slots for the bracket so and I think that might be enough and then the crossover I just put it inside I can be able to access it from the top if I need to connect the tweeters on a later date so I think that should be good enough so this is um, I'll just figure out a way on how I can splice these two together so for now I just need the speaker connected to the bracket so I'll just make it work with uh, whatever I have over here so the speakers came with uh, something like this which can go to the back of this screw and actually hold it firm so this is what I'm going to use for the three other spots so the speaker can be attached to the bracket so it won't be wobbly Next step would be to cut this off and uh, connect the connect the blue to the positive and the green to the negative. So we are done. I'll just play something, and uh, so we can see if it's if there was any faulty connection. Then we can drop it up, close this door, and uh, get to the other one. I just realized that I should have fixed the speaker, connected the speaker to the bracket before doing the other speaker. So for the driver's side, I have the brackets, the plastic one, the metal one inside connected to the speaker using this screw and uh, a metal thing that I think you can slide in on the spot where I will take out the old speaker. I will try to reuse the old uh, bracket, but you can't uh, detach it from from this old speaker. So we'll just make it work, and hopefully we can force in some screws. One, two, three, on the space we have. So let's work on the driver side and uh, uh, feel the new sound.
So now we have the speaker intact. I have the crossover buried inside here and uh, I had to splice up this wire so I can connect them to the crossover so just want to test it right now and uh, confirm it's, um, it's the connections are great and then we'll just clean up the door put it back and uh, we'll be done